It's both an airship and a gigantic flying hotel in one, the Air Cruise. Despite its colossal dimensions, 265 meters high and weighing 378 tons, it's more mobile than it looks. It should be, at least so far, as it only exists as a computer-generated animation, one that its designers hope will become reality in the near future. There was a time when uh, lighter-than-air aircraft, so the, the glory days of uh, the Zeppelins, um, was a very romantic idea, and I think that idea still exists in people's minds. So the, the, the thought really came from how we could reinterpret that method of travel, but for the 21st century. The Flying Palatial Hotel was the brainchild of London-based designer Nick Talbot. He's fascinated by the high-altitude experience, a prime example being the London Eye, the British capital's newest landmark. But instead of taking people in circles, the air crews will transport passengers from Europe to other continents. This is exactly the kind of view and the experience that we would get from the command centre. We have this fantastic view of the city, uninterrupted. Our concept is slow everything down and make more time to enjoy what it is that we're doing. So in terms of a journey, rather than getting from A to B as quickly as possible, uh, why not make the journey a pleasure in itself? The air crews will also be environmentally friendly, running on hydrogen and solar power. It will have a cruising altitude of 4,000 meters, but can drop, as desired, to just a few hundred meters above ground in order to give passengers a closer look at the local sites. It will take off and land using a specially designed docking station. In all respects, an airship without parallel. The most fascinating conceptual things about this whole project is the idea of using um, aerospace kinds of material, so uh, composite construction, uh, the next generation of airliners are, are all composite, carbon fibre uh, combinations and so on. But the difference here is that we're applying that kind of construction material and uh, methodology to an object that is as big as a building. Nick Talbot is one of the directors at renowned design consultancy Seymour Powell. The company was created in 1984 and rapidly went on to earn awards for its cutting-edge innovations. The cordless kettle, for example, and the first fuel cell-powered motorbike. Seymour Powell also came up with the interior design for Virgin Galactic, a commercial spaceship that will soon be taking paying passengers into outer space. We talk a lot here about optimistic futurism. We think it's a responsibility of creative people to think way ahead of the curve, to consider what could be rather than what should be. It's much better often to look way out there in the future, consider what people are going to want, and then drive the business and the technology to deliver that. The Flying Hotel is likewise set to boast a grand interior. It will incorporate a number of apartments, a penthouse, and a bar to be an exclusive home away from home for less than 100 lucky guests. The prospective billion-dollar project has yet to have investors flocking to it. But Nick Talbot is very optimistic. It's the combination of space and comfort and luxury, the combination of those two things that would lead to, uh, we think, some very beautiful experiences. So sipping your cocktail while you're watching the whales uh, travelling across the Pacific or dropping down at sunset over the Serengeti, um, but at the same time, rather than being in a, a little confined space, we have all this beautiful environment to enjoy it from. Nick Talbot knows it's no pie in the sky. The designer plans to work as long as it takes to find an investor. And if the project takes off, he'll be among the first ones on board.